and often don't. Um, these are the parish notices. <laughs> Unfortunately, we haven't had any. You're not believe this. It was 2000 and oh, I think it was 19 or 20 something. No, no. Do you know it was 2008? The last time I did these, and we really would laugh about them. And I'm taking the Mickey out of quite a lot of people. It's not being nasty or anything. Um, excuse me. No, I just want a rest of the MC. I'm getting old, you know. I just want a little back rest here. No, no. Into the arms of a Jehovah's Witness, <laughs> who 
was trying to sell her his religion at the door. They wrestled on the floor. Once they got their breath back, he asked her what religion she was. She replied, well, my mother was a Methodist and my father was a spiritualist. So I suppose I must be a Methodist spirit. <laughs> A lot of people thought they could use their bus passes today on the bus <laughs> to Grange. Very difficult to say to them, no, sorry, it wasn't public transport. But we got over that okay. Now, we would have had these minutes a lot earlier, but I've had a lot to do. Because, you see, a lot of our members who have been involved in the Olympics this year. <laughs> our very own Carol and Alfred Castle. <laughs> Yes? Yes? <laughs> Carol and Alf were part of the synchronised swimming team. <laughs> Unfortunately, they decided to wear hand crocheted, <laughs> matching bikini and swimming trunks, <laughs> knitted for them by our own Sheila Edgar, <laughs> Part of the Knit and Natter team who apply were on Britain's Got Talent, if you remember. <laughs> then away they strutted towards the swimming pool. The cheers and gasps from the crowd were truly really wonderful to hear. Until the TV, the TV presenter. <laughs> that neither garment had been lined <laughs> and were completely see-through. And so they were disqualified. <laughs> A great pity, as their nose pegs had been covered in the same material as the swimmer. <laughs> Thankfully, Sheila was able to remove the, sheet, the covers and convert them to the original clothes pegs. <laughs> we also had competitors <laughs> in the tandem cycling race. Alan Burchill <laughs> and Craig Bennett <laughs> were doing extremely well in their heat. Well, alas, Alan took his hands off the handlebars. He was in the, pos in the pillion position. <laughs> and he started fanning his face vigorously. <laughs> there was a very pained expression on Craig's face. <laughs> They were called off the track by the judges. <laughs> and it transpired that it is an offence to take one's hands off the handlebars. <laughs> and their excuses were to no avail. It transpires that Craig had broken wind. <laughs> right in Alan's face. <laughs> and was trying to get rid of the smell. <laughs> The judge is disqualified. <laughs> Sorry about that, lads. Um, <coughs> oh. <laughs> now that we have some people. Oh, God. Do you know it's like being on and you're being framed, isn't it? Anyway, we had. A nativity play. It was very, very nice. It was starring Mr. Paul Turney oh. as Joseph <laughs> and his wife Andrea playing Mary. Unfortunately, the play was cut short. Paul, as Joseph, said to Andrea, who was Mary, Have you bought it? <laughs> She categorically denied the allegation. <laughs> Paul then stated, then, if she hadn't, the flaming donkey must have shit himself. <laughs> At which point, she 
picked up the baby Jesus out of its crib and commenced to butter all around the head. I'm afraid the stage hands, Fiona, Janice, Peggy, May, Barbara, and Claire had to usher them from the stage because there were children there and they were very upset. I could go on forever more, but I could see you're all bored to flaming tears. So that's the end of the parish notices.